This box came a couple weeks ago, and I've been waiting for the right time with the right amount of teenage muscle to put it up. What is it? It's a over 300 pound steel gazebo. We have a gazebo in the back. It's been working great for us for about 15 years, but it's got a cloth top on it. I wanted to upgrade. So what do we gotta do? We gotta take that gazebo down without destroying anything, put this guy up. I have no idea what's in this box. I just know it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be like a giant erector set. Putting a bunch of parts together with screws, nuts, and bolts. By the way, I have a secret to share. One of the reasons why we're doing this project is not only because we want to have something like this, but I want to give my three teenagers an opportunity to work, problem solve, and build a large structure together. A lot of kids their age don't have an opportunity to do this, or they're off doing video games or whatever it is. Not that that's a bad thing. I think everybody needs to have some hand-on experience. And they'll be able to look at this project 20, 30 years, because it's probably going to last that long, and remember and reflect on the fun we had putting it together. This is an unsponsored review. I didn't get paid anything for this. Although I did get it on sale, I was lucky to get it towards the end of the season and saved about 40%. I did pay $55 for shipping to the house, and I tell you what, it was worth it. Because trying to get it from the store, 300 pounds, was going to be a bit of a task. The bug screen that goes around the outside. You got all the little screws here and one little tool. A bunch of stakes. Now you got two tools. One here and one here. So I don't usually read the instructions, but I'm going to probably do it for this one because it's just pretty complex. Here are the cable ties we're actually going to cut that have been keeping on the deck. We might actually screw down this next gazebo because it's a little heavier into the deck itself, but I wanted to try to avoid that. Also, I've been using this post as a support for the sun shades that are running on the other side. I'll post up there where you can see that video. Slide it down. Heavy. You got a top? You can put right it on the, the rail. Yeah. Hold up. Oh, God. Wait. All right. Oh, God. Put it on the rail. Yep. Put it on the rail. I'm having to shrink. Rail. Rail. It's on the rail. Right rail on. Right. Now slide it down. All right. Grab the ends. Just keep going. Yeah. Crap. No, don't. Grab, grab spoke by spoke. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, it's just heavy. Put it on the, the rail. Yeah. Hold up. Oh, God. Wait. the deck we got a challenge with the tree you need to pull it this way and this is where we'll have it for a while until we figure out what to do next it's starting to get hot outside so we're gonna try to assemble some of this inside, but we can do this, assemble these before we need to go outside and do that. App that I downloaded, let's see how that goes. This procedure will assist you with assembling the Hampton Bay Holden hardtop gazebo. Okay. To this procedure, you will need a hammer, Phillips head screwdriver, safety goggles. We're back at it, it's a little cooler outside now. We put the, all the like, little parts in a tray so that you don't lose any over the side. We're using these magnet cups. The only problem is the screws 
aren't metallic enough to be used in the cup. So if that's the case, you just put them on top of the structure and you still have containment. You lose it over the side here and you got big troubles trying to find it in the grass. This is six and a half feet this way and eight feet, three inches this way. I was a little concerned that it was going to be too wide and I'd have to put it over on the other side of my deck, but it really is working out well. And this structure, 175 pounds, and it's not even budging. Crazy. We did the couple of last night. It was a bit dicey. I'm thinking that maybe you'd build this whole structure down on a table or something, down at regular ground level before you go up top because trying to maneuver and get certainly this border on all four pieces of the metal roofing, major pain. What we call in my business, PETA, pain in the asset. So now we're gonna put the side braces on and start putting on the roofing. Got some old king size sheets that we're laying the pieces on so they're accessible but they're not going to get scratched up on the tables. All the cross supports are in place and now it's time to put the metal roof on. Since this is the most dangerous part over here and over here at the edge of the deck where it just kind of drops off for two stories, we're going to do this panel first, then this panel, and then this panel and this panel just to be safe. And we're probably going to have to move this so I have somewhere to stand up here when I put those on. I'll probably use the railing and just hold on to this because it's pretty solid. Okay, here's a pro tip because we did all these panels and it's really hard because on the top can't see the whole person on the bottom can. So my engineering teenagers came up with this. So you give him the plastic washer and screw. Spacer X. This is your goal right here to get this thing in the hole. I already found it. Okay, but you got to get the other panel up there first. Okay. See hole? Yeah. Put Spacer X in there. Put the screw in Spacer X. Now it's easy for him to hand screw in. You're in. Yeah, and it's always fun to hit the top because it makes a lot of noise because it's steel. Okay, action, let's go. Despite our best efforts, or maybe it just came this way, some of the powder coating was scratched. So all I'm going to do is take a black permanent marker and just finish it off so it's less obvious. And I can always go in there and kind of hit it with some black powder coat paint. So the project is done. It took about eight hours and when it was kind of cooler in the day. So we broke it up over three days and I had a couple helpers. The instructions were pretty sparse given the size and scope of the project and the number of parts but the app was really good. You could drill in, you could turn it around 360 and really step it through. And if the voice didn't annoy you too much, the app was the way to go. Really simplified the construction of the project to the point where almost anybody could do it. You follow the app, you get a little wrench and you're off to the races. And where the last gazebo leaked, this is all nice and sealed up and it's just gonna be a wonderful place to listen to the rain which is what I'm really looking forward to. Being out here during a nice gentle rain or even a strong rain or a hailstorm and hearing the plinking going on in the steel roof. Thumbs up and comments always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in home repairs and home designs, assembling of big projects, designs of all kinds, including sports gear, photography equipment, and just about anything I can think of, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.